Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, overall energy, we have the Four of Swords showing up in reverse. Your person showing up as the Seven of Cups, so possibly doing a lot of thinking about you, wondering about you, but this can also be a sense of confusion or it could also be that they have a lot of options. They're viewing you as the Two of Wands in reverse. What you're not seeing is the Six of Cups, all right, soulmate energy here. And we see the King of Cups energy showing up in reverse, okay? And we have judgment cards. So for some of you, this could be the possibility of a second chance with someone. But what I heard immediately with the King of Cups showing up in reverse here is to not give too much to this situation just yet. Because I feel like you have somebody who, again, is either exploring their options or feeling a little bit confused. Um, and they may also feel like you've made some sort of decision or you're still kind of stuck or anchored in the past. Um, but the judgment card is a beautiful energy because it talks about or really gives this energy of divine intervention um, and maybe somebody coming back around and it's in the hidden position. So again, this person might just be getting clarity and then heading back your way. Okay, so let's see. The Four of Swords in reverse tells me that if your love life has been kind of sleepy or it's been kind of non-existent, um, things definitely are going to start moving forward or there will be changes here for you. All right, we see the Queen of Wands. All right, so fire energy, a lot of passion. Um, and we see the Four of Swords in reverse again. Okay, so I do see here that, you know, we may have two people that have really been hurt in love. And it's possible that you two are mirroring each other is what I'm getting. Now, obviously, this could be somebody you have a history with, or it could be like a friend of a friend, um, or it could be somebody you used to work with or somebody you used to know. It doesn't have to be an ex coming back around. And you probably aren't going to see this happening or realize it's happening, but it's definitely going to change up your love life. It's going to add some excitement and definitely some passion. Um, but I just want to figure out if it's just going to be physical and kind of like a short-lived thing or, or what. So your person is in the Seven of Cups energy, feeling a bit confused, maybe spending a lot of time wondering about you. This can also be online dating or having a lot of options. Oh, we have a peeker here. We have the star card showing up, so Aquarius energy. This might be your wish fulfillment, Virgo. Let's just see. And for some of you... Um, there's an urgency here to heal things if you've been fighting or arguing with this person or separated. But for a lot of you, I'm not really getting that it's necessarily an ex. I feel like it's somebody that you know that is coming back around somehow, okay? <clears throat> like a coworker or, or a friend or something like that. With the Seven of Swords, this person definitely has some secret feelings for you. Um, you may find them to be a little bit avoidant and they may have pulled back Virgo just to figure out their true feelings here. Um, or you may feel like they have turned their back on you, but they haven't. It's almost like they're just trying to figure things out. Double sevens is a very powerful number sequence, a reminder that you have angelic support around you and protection. Also pay attention to the four, four number sequence. And we get the princess of wands. So I do see that you two are very similar in a lot of ways. Maybe this person has other, you know, has Virgo placements like yourself, or maybe you both have fire placements, but I see that there's a lot of passion and attraction between the two of you, but I feel like there's a little bit of uncertainty about whether or not it can be more than that. Um, you know, this could be somebody that you kind of hooked up with and you haven't heard from, or somebody you've had like a flirtation with over the last, you know, couple of years, even months. So with the two of wands in reverse, they, they see you as kind of not wanting to move forward. And the two of swords energy in reverse, double twos coming out. Powerful number sequences here, Virgo. Um, 
<clears throat> this person sees you as very truthful. And we get the Queen of Swords coming out kind of sideways. This person sees you as very logical and very practical. They also see you as somebody who's quite loyal. But I'm wondering if you had a fling with this person in the past, Virgo. And um, they're kind of, you know, I don't know. They feel like maybe you took a cerebral, cerebral or clinical approach to this. I am seeing too, it is also possible that they could be friends with like an ex. Or there's somebody here that this Queen of Swords maybe sort of getting in the way of this connection like i don't know if there's some sort of disapproval um or or something along those lines this person does really like talking to you is what i'm hearing they like the way you think um i feel like you really connect um like through like having the same sense of humor um the same interests and things like that so this person definitely likes you but it's like they're confused about whether or not it can be anything more than maybe just like you know a physical connection or something short-lived what you're not seeing is i feel this person's planning on giving you a gift with the six of cups they might even surprise you by just kind of showing up um and we get the king of swords so we get the king and the queen of swords um now for some of you maybe you are exes right but i kind of feel like more than anything it's like you and this person are so similar you know, like you flirt in the same ways, you're both kind of mirroring each other, you're both kind of feeling kind of um, the same way about each other, about the situation. And we get the Queen of Cups energy in reverse. I feel that there may be some sort of interference here, Virgo. I don't know if it's like, you know, a friend or family member, somebody that maybe is causing a little bit of hesitation here. Now, the Queen of Cups can also be someone's ex. Um, you might be friends with this person's ex, or maybe they're friends with your ex, and that's something that's kind of keeping this from, you know, getting off the ground here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people involved, so it feels like, again, this person's in your energy. You know them through friends or family or your coworkers or something like that. But I actually feel like this person's a little bit, like, I do feel like they, they also, they might put on, like, quite a stoic or harsh or hard front, not harsh, but hard front, but I feel like they're a lot more emotional about you. Um, maybe even feeling jealous if they've, you know, seen you with other people or, you know, yeah, I, I, the jealous of the idea that you might move on or you might be with other people. Let's see. So the King of Cups. Oh, so we have both the King and the Queen of Cups. Again, you two are mirroring each other. You two are mirroring, mirroring each other. And with the King and the Queen of Swords in the upright, I feel like you're both just in this logical, cerebral energy. But I kind of feel like you're both quite emotional about each other, but you're hiding it. <laughs> you both, you, you could be dealing with another Virgo here. Um, I'm picking up on Cancer vibes as well. All right, so we see the Princess of Cups. So there may be like an offer, an invitation, an apology coming in here with the Princess of Cups. But again, I'm seeing a lot of people influencing this connection um, and, and maybe not necessarily in a good way. And we get the King of Cups showing up in reverse. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Lots of people showing up here and the Princess of Pentacles. I think this person is moving towards you, but I feel like they are working through maybe how other people are thinking or feeling about you two being together. Possibly there's a little bit of an issue of like, if it's, you know, if you're all part of like the same group of friends, it could be an issue of like, you know, will this polarize the group or could it mess things up? Again, somebody's ex might be involved. Um, again, it could be a lot of gossip with coworkers because it's a lot of people showing up in this reading. But I do feel like this person is somehow coming back around to you. Like, you know who they are. Does not have to be an ex, okay? I just want to be very clear with you there. Um, I feel like they have some sort of gift for you, okay? So again, maybe they were traveling and they bring you back, you know, like something is, it could be very simple like a shot glass or, you know, a magnet or something like that. Or it could be something much more special related to something that you two are both interested in or talked about. But it, it is interesting. I, I'm just getting like, a, expect like some sort of small little gift from this person. So we get wedding rings, okay? So you do, you two definitely have a very strong soul connection. And I'm also getting, you've probably, you probably feel that past life connection with this person. 
Spirit saying, have faith, love is coming. See, this person's going to surprise you. It's like they're going to show up again or show up out of nowhere. Or they're going to like, you know, maybe, again, if they went off somewhere, they might bring you back a gift from wherever they were. And we see the golden mirror, okay? And we see give it time. So I kind of, like, I don't feel like you're dealing with a narcissist here or somebody who's self-absorbed. I kind of feel like there might be somebody... I feel this is like another energy that may be interfering in this connection. Someone that doesn't want you two together for whatever reason. You know, it could be your best friend or it could be their best friend or it could be a family member. Or, you know, it could also be a boss or something like that where it's against company policy. Um, but Spirit's telling you here with this uh, needs time or takes time to give this time. Okay, there's, a, there's like a lot going on here. There's a lot of commotion. There's a lot of people... Um, a lot of people with eyes on you, Virgo, are on this connection. Um, but I feel like despite that, you know, I don't know if you need to fly under the radar here or despite that, just, you know, just take your time. Give this some time. See where things go. See how things play out here, Virgo. All right. So spirit saying, yeah, it's, it's some sort of reconciliation. Again, maybe with an ex or like I said, somebody who's kind of showing up out of nowhere. But it's that, like definitely you know this person. Now, if you absolutely don't know this person, it may be that there's just this great sense of familiarity between you and them. And again, that's because I was picking up on that past life energy. Forgiveness is a liberating choice. I, I do see that too. You know, there may be somebody here who was like gossiping about you or gossiping about this person, somebody who interfered in this connection. I'm not, maybe you need to forgive this person, but I feel more like that it's like whatever this third party energy is, um, that you need to forgive, like somebody that didn't, I don't know, maybe they, you know, they spread some lies or, um, you know, didn't tell you how this person was feeling, didn't give you something from them or something along those lines. Okay. And it's a new love, a new love or a new phase in love is beginning. And Virgo, this could be your divine masculine, or maybe you are this person's divine masculine. Um, feels like there's like a little bit of drama around the situation, Virgo, for sure. And like I said, a lot of eyes on you and this person. Give it time. Okay, let the, I just keep hearing the word like hubbub, which I don't really use that word, but there's like a lot of commotion around this. Um, maybe a lot of gossip around your connection. Just let that die down. Play it cool. Don't give too much to this connection until you really know, like if it's something that, you know, you, that you want to move forward with. So what does this person want to say to you? I know I was a distraction from your pain. I need security and I still feel the pain. So this person may still be hurting or recovering from something. I kind of feel Virgo, a lot of you, you may have kind of hooked up with this person and then it never really went anywhere. Maybe it was like during like a rebound period and this person, maybe they're feeling a little bit confused as to, you know, do you, are you really into them? Can this really go anywhere? Of course, this can be your energy as well. And I'm not financially stable, so this person may be um, struggling with financial issues right now. That can absolutely be affecting this connection. Okay, so let's see what else we need to know. But I feel, Virgo, despite all of this, I kind of feel like there's either been some sort of misunderstanding or a message didn't get sent, or maybe you told a friend to tell this person something and it never happened. Um, but I, I kind of feel like there's, there's definitely a second chance here. Um, we get a lot of nods to that in this reading and the meeting of the souls. Yes, see Virgo, this is an, this is a soulmate for you. Someone will enter your life to challenge you to grow and awaken your soul. Keep your heart open. So spirit saying, don't shut down yet to this connection, Virgo. Take your time. Don't, don't invest too quickly. And again, maybe you want to fly under the radar and kind of keep it close to your chest. Um, but I feel like this, this is coming in. This is absolutely on your path for a reason. And Spirit's also saying that you're destined for greatness. But I kind of feel like this connection is destined for greatness. But there have been some obstacles or some hiccups along the way. Um, it's coded in your DNA. Time to meet your greater self. But I kind of feel like it's you and this person are going to make each other better. I'm getting like a really powerful like potential to be a power couple or to just be very comfortable with each other to learn and grow together but again it's like there's this drama here that needs to be that needs to relax that needs to be let go of um so virgo where i'm standing it feels pretty good but it may take some time 
Um, so again, just make the best choices for you and yours in life and in love. And you know, I would really see where this is going. I don't feel that this, this narcissist or this golden mirror energy is your energy. I feel it's somebody that maybe is feeling jealous or doesn't want you to move on or it's an ex or something. So I feel that very, very strongly. All right, Virgos, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Virgos. Take care.